Hey, party people, welcome to my channel. Someone didn't go to Costco's yesterday, but I gotta go this week, so a Costco's haul is definitely coming, and Trader Joe's is coming as well. I think pretty much throughout the month of November, if this type of video is more along your lines, then I would really recommend you subscribing to my channel and giving the video a thumbs up, especially with your girl running on fumes and still remembering to record a video. Um, what I wanted to conclude in saying that is that I think for the most part, up to maybe the first week of December, I'll be doing a little bit more shopping. One, I'm trying to prepare for an upcoming trip. Two, I'm picking up things to redecorate and redo my home um, a little bit by little bit. Um, so, um, and then I'm also trying to get things for my boys, my 19 year old, he's got no growth spurt, um, and he's now a young man and my 17 year old the same. And so I want to help them and get them little items here and there. So yeah, and myself, I'm due for new perfume. I'm due for some new handbags. I'm definitely due for some new shoes and tops and PJs. I don't have to have PJs, I just really like them. Um, but yeah, definitely some perfume. Um, perfume, I would say I could use a couple of other foundations. I'm one of those people who want six to eight different foundations because the color tones are different and I do like to mix them and get different finishes and stuff. Application, my skin texture changed throughout the month. Sometimes it's really uh, plump and smooth and then there's other times there it's a little rough. So different foundations work with the skin better um, to achieve a certain look. So let's jump into this. Well, I went back and I did get one, you see it? So what I thought, this is the theory um, that I'm working with. I won't know what a fit if I don't bring it home. So what I thought to do today, since um, this, I saw this on the floor and it wasn't there yesterday. And so I wasn't gonna take a chance um, with leaving it. And until I actually purchase one of the luggages, bring it here, do like a faux pack to pull some items I have not finished shopping for going to visit my daughter, but start putting putting the pieces that I have been buying into the luggage. Grab a couple of pieces from the closet that I think will be along the lines of what I want to buy. You get what I'm trying to say to go on this trip? Place it all in the suitcase, arrange it different little ways, See if it'll work. See if it'll fit. Generally, the this is the size of the ones that I've been telling you about. So in the other video, and I'll link it in the description box below from yesterday. Anyhow, the question that I posed to you guys was basically as a carry-on to try not to have to have my luggage checked in. I've watch some different YouTube videos from people who are either flight attendants or those who travel frequently and they do discuss how sometimes the check-in process is a pain, items being lost, things, their luggage being handled poorly. And so it's highly recommended if you can carry your garments on, it would be best. And so um, those were the four diff four companies, three I can remember, one I can't right now, um, that I was talking to you guys about and asking, you know, for those who travel, what would you recommend out of those um, mentioned brands that has a good warranty, good durability, and could withstand, you know, at least four or five years before I would even need to be considering either adding or replacing that piece, adding to it or replacing it. Well, needless to say, I picked up one today. This is by the company Brookstone. Uh, we have a Brookstone store in our Palm Beach Gardens Mall. But anyways, this was at TJ Maxx for $59.99. This guy is 
unique and that's why I just went ahead and bought it and didn't go through that whole procrastination let me go home and think about it bullshit excuse me I just brought it bought it and brought it on home and what I thought is later this evening I'll begin to start packing it as as though I was leaving tomorrow and just see if it would work for me if what I'm trying to take would be too bulky and etc and if this size is going to even fly or if I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and pay for the extra luggage piece to be checked in and hope for the best. This bad boy has, and I'm going to try to hold it close to the camera and go to my right and then to my left. It has a USB port, a toiletry pouch, it's expandable, it's got a comfort rubber grip trolley and it has a 10 year warranty. I will probably, if there's no literature in here, because I didn't check for all that, then I'll go online and see how detailed this 10-year warranty is and how much they're truly covering in that time frame. I'm going to lift this up. So you have your first pocket. I don't know how much you guys are able to see. But you have your first pocket here. And it, it kind of goes out and it has like the little accordion expandable size. So I'm assuming that's probably where you might want to put your ticket information, um, your cell phone or something that would be easy to grab and reach for passports if you're traveling internationally. And then you have another little guy pocket here. I, I would imagine it's up to the person, but you know, lip balm, uh, breath mints, uh, hand sanitizer, uh, a little pocket change if you wanted to carry a few bucks cash on you. Um, let me see. Do I have my credit card on me? I normally put it up here. No. It looks like it can even hold a credit card. So you got a little tiny um, pouch there. Then you go into the next zipper pull. And that's what um, gives you that expansion. So let me turn it to the side. So when I just zipped it out, we got this much more packing space so nearly an inch you guys in my opinion without getting a measuring tape and then the next zipper is for the actual getting into the part of the bag and so on this side you know maybe I should have did them over but we're gonna go with it um, on this side you have a zip down mesh and it's full, it's almost the full length of the, the luggage trolley tote or whatever here we got. And I like that. And then on the other side, let me get over here. Let me maybe change positions. How about that? Let's try that. The day I record vertical, I want to show something that I need to be horizontal. So I think I'm going to stop right here. And turn the camera. Okay, we're back. God help me with editing today. I try to put this together. But here's the other part of the luggage. So this is what it looks like all together. And there's that like wet compartment, or that's their version of giving you a clear see-through bag. But the same wet pouch, your razor. They got little icons and uh, picture stamps. Your toothbrush and toothpaste, your little um, travel approved sized, uh, you know what I'm saying, shampoos and uh, conditioners or what have you, lotions and things. And then on this side, there's a, a mesh zipper over there. And then this one gives you two, let me put my arm in there where you can see it better since it's black. But this is a hell of a situation, y'all. But here we go. So, there. So, you got two strap downs, not one. Because some of them I did notice only gave you one or gave you none. And they were wanting $49 and $50. Let me turn it to the side. You do got a side grip. And I mean, it's, it's, uh, it is padded. So, your hands shouldn't get tired or it slips from you. And then there's that USB. Um, area. So I have to order from Amazon a TSA approved battery because most um, backup batteries can't go with you on the plane or some crap like that. Still learning y'all. 
but um, Amazon do sell TSA approved batteries. And then here is the other part. This is the USB. So you put the backup battery in here where it would be secure. And then, you know, while you're at the airport and you're waiting or whatever, you can charge your devices there and you get two. Yeah. Um, on the back, there is a slot where you can uh, put your information. The handle, um, you have the little button here. And then you, you know, you can adjust it by different stages. So I think that's as tall as it goes, but you can go um, in three sections. So you got three different levels or height adjustment levels that you could do. It's got something on here called Dura Guard. Um, you got a handle at the top, and again, you got that handle on the side. Now, I was watching a lady I follow on Instagram, and she also has a YouTube channel. Um, she, I think she's from Texas. Now, she did, she suggested, you know, trying to get wheels that were kind of a little bit closer and not so loose. These are almost in between what she was recommending and not recommending. So, it's a hybrid. And um, I think it'll do okay. $59.99. You guys tell me what you think. This is from their Lane collection. It's saying durable fabric constructed by durable 750D cross nylon fabric trolley handle system, ergonomic locking aluminum handle system with rubber bottom grip, dual guard corner protectors to help reduce wear and tear. It's lightweight, advanced lightweight uh, internal frame construction. This has got an eight wheel system, 360 degree spinner system, extra quiet wheels. Yeah, the wheels did make a lot of noise, come to think of it, uh, for expandable maximum mobility. Um, the expandable upright offers 25% additional packing capacity. And then you have a detachable interior uh, toiletry pouch. Let's move on to what else I purchased. Um, this is a NARS. Now, I got one of these, not the same color. This color is Bar Bar Reese. I don't know, y'all. I don't know if it's going to show. But this was $7.99. And I tried to use it quickly this morning, but I thought this would be a great base and a liner to some red holiday lips. Uh, when I was using it this morning, it wasn't as vibrant as I thought it was going to be. Because see this handle? I was like, ooh, that's a nice blue red. But it's there. It's still there. It's still nice. I still like it. And $7.99, and I think it's travel friendly, and you call it a day, take it with you. Eight bucks, dear old NARS. Sorry, I spent a lot of time on that luggage. But anyways, I've already told you what I'm going to attempt to do. I hope it works. If it don't work, then I'm going to have to just go up to the next size. Let me see if there's anything on here to tell me if it's a 21 or 22 inch. 21 inches is what this is. I still want the London Fog. Uh, it's almost like a big little chunky little bag. So I think that's next. The colors won't match because the one I like is purple. But... And the other one is red, so whatever. I got these for the holiday. Um, to go on the table, I think. You know, it's kind of hard a little bit shopping in pieces. So we'll see. If not, the same company does have like a metallic gold almost mat, uh, placemats, but... That's what this is. It's a set of four for $10. You can wipe it clean and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, I picked up these. Uh, Paranautica sneakers. They just look bit comfy and cute. I don't know where I think I'm going in them, but I like it. And I like the color. And the little shape of it and I like how it has like the Nike sneakers 
that little sneaker sweater um, insert thingy my jigger bob it this little band it can be adjusted and these were $24.99 some Tory Burches is in there and I'm like this close to buying them they're a hundred dollars though and I was like man if I do that then I could have bought that bicycle this I don't know what possessed me to do this but this was $15 this is an Adidas um, cap and I just saw wearing this and I like that it stretches and it's got this stretch up uh, it's got this um, I'm gonna have my hair redone tomorrow but it has this sweater stretchy material I like that it can just kind of go to the side and or you can wear it in the middle I'm trying to take this a little so it can but I $15 for a hat is not what I would normally spend. I thought it was actually $12.99. Um, and I'm a little so-so about it. Because I can honestly get a pair of pants that I would wear way more than this hat. But I just saw, you know, Timberland boots or some boots with it and just cocking this thing to the side and just being cool as hell. I just something about it. I like it. And so, yeah. So, like, 75% of me says keep it. And then other 25 was like, that's not a very good use of money as far as attire. You could do so much, get so much more for 15 bucks. I don't know, you guys. You tell me what you think. What do you think out there? Y'all talk to me. I've been silent lately. And your, and your girl is like, you know, hello. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Um, this is what I feel like doing on camera. I really am just getting in the house. If I don't do these videos, like sit down, walk in, lock up the house, you know, lock up the door, set the alarm, and um, just record off cuff, I don't think it would get done. So, um, yeah. And pardon me. I think my videos also are going to start turning more into just a vlog. And I'm going to look into some different editing software. I Really, if I get a Mac, I wouldn't have to go through this. Which is what my daughter is harping on. But you guys know, Apple is not cheap. And I'm not financing due to squat. Here is this. This is my second time purchasing this. The first time I bought it, I got it from Macy's. This, And this price beats Macy's. This was $21.99. This is John Parvados. I really do like it. And last year I bought it for my partner and my sons. And I split the setup amongst everybody. And it just smells so handsome. Very uh, luxurious, you know, debonair smelling. And you got all four. And they're each 0.5 fluid ounces, 15 milliliters. This is vintage. Just in case someone might want to look for it for their family member. It's the Artisan Blue, Artisan Vintage, and then the standard John Barbados. Um, let's see. This I'm not sure about. Um, I'm a supervisor at one of the TJ Maxx's in my area. And so um, I have to deal with processing. And so it's very fast paced. It's very labor intensive. And it's so many things that you have to be on top of. So, though I'm handling so many different items or coming across so many different items, it is very difficult to kind of try to set something aside and bear in mind what your house or what your each family member would need or, you know what I'm saying? So, certain things I have to just take it and throw it to the side and by the time my shift is over... My reservation to get home is already out there and I got to go. And so it's easier for me to buy it, get home and deliberate. And then I can always just return it at the end of um, a shift or a lunch break the following day. This is one of those items. I may keep it. I may not keep it. I just, we got so many different boxes from this company and I do like the English tea shop. This particular set is their organic wellness tea collection again there were other different ones with different types of teas in it 
This comes with a 48 cup serving. It says find six ad adorable gift boxes inside this tray. Each box has eight wellness tea sachets. Whew. This is supposed to be USDA organic. The blends are as follows. Eight happy me. Eight youthful me. Eight sensual me. Eight sleepy me. Eight refresh me. And eight slim me for $7.99. Now, I got to replace one of my Republica teas and just that trio. Um, it's their lean one. Um, that one's like 15. So, if you want to know what's in it, Happy Me has lemongrass or everything's organic. So, I'm just going to say that up front. The herbal tea with apple, orange peels, and spices is caffeine free. The youthful me is hibiscus, rose hip, buckthorn, berries, and red berries. The sleepy me is chamomile, uh, lavender buds, hop leaves, and valerian root. Sensual me is lemongrass, blackberry, cinnamon, and licorice. Refresh me is spearmint, eucalyptus, thyme, myrtle, lemon, and lemon peels. Slim Me is green tea, cinnamon, ginseng, ginger, and acai berries. And it actually tells you. See, that's what I like about Europe and other continent areas. They tend to treat the process, especially England area, food different than the United States. They actually give you the percentage breakdown. So it's like 54% organic green tea. 20% cinnamon, 12% ginseng. I mean, come on now. America don't do that. America's an animal. It don't do that. I guess someone out there. I'm a patriot. I love America. Yeah, me too, to a degree. Here we go. You know, I just said in the other video, I love lashes. I saw this come through today, and I was all over it. Um, and this was only $6. Come on out here. So I had to get this because this was such a good a good buy. Lashes are expensive. Um, so this one has the doll um, design, the boss babe, the ladylike flirt and show off. I don't even know who this company is, but the band, I can work with the band and the style is what I like. So yes, honey. That lady like that. There I go, y'all. Planner. So, January through December of 2020, again, I had no time to, like, fiddle through the pages. Um, the first thing I wanted to do is just, just see if the paper was as pitiful as the Ray Dunn's. And it's better than Ray Dunn. It could be even better, but for the price of, this one's $10, $10, nine ninety nine. I thought I'd at least bring it home and just see. But here's a pocket on this side, and then it's reverse pocket on the other. You got your yearly calendar out of view. And then it goes into 2021, your contacts. I still write certain contacts down. I actually have an Erin Condrian contact book. And it gets used. Um, what we have here. This is your January 2020. And this is like a goal page look like. January goals. January birthdays. January anniversaries. It's thoughtful. January to do's. And additional notes. So let me bring this closer. And hopefully this translates. Where you guys can see it. Then you have a month at a glance. Again, the paper could be better. It definitely could be better. It's better than Ray Dunn, but it's not as good as that Snoopy. And it's not as good as what I'm accustomed to, but those planners are also anywhere from 55 and up. So you get what you pay for, too. Um, this is a horizontal layout. And so you get your week on two pages. Your girl, no planners now. 
I ain't been covering them lately, but there you go. Let's see. Trying to see something. Okay, so yeah, that's how the weekly view is laid out. And then it'll cover January. And then the last days of the month, they actually run into and into the next month. So February is on this page as well as January. And then you get one notes page at the end of that month. And then the next month begins. I really like this like header, this entry into that month and things that you would be able to note and write down, especially the birthdays. I'm really beginning to suck on remembering people's birthdays or very bad on the anniversaries, but birthdays I'm getting kind of crappy on. Sorry. The month at a glance, and we're going to get out of this planner, I just want to note that you do get your previous month and your upcoming month at the bottom. And you do get a little tiny, if you write fine print or with a pencil or something sharp, uh, like a point three a or a point five or less pen, then you should be able to fit what you want to say in there, but that's not a lot of writing space. I will not lie to you. The boxes for the month are generous. And, um, yeah, I just wanted to make note of that. And then you have the font up here and the little uh, border. You could get some stickers in here. It looks about like Aaron Conjuring stickers could fit. So that's enough with that. The company who made this is Fringe. And again, this is a year planner for 2020. I'll tinker around with it a little bit more off camera and decide from there if that's something I want. I saw these and I was like, oh yeah, I need some new leggings. And these are some cozy, slimming, comfort, super soft, keep warm, show show, fleece lined leggings. So I figured since I'm going in a climate with snow, I don't think these are going to keep me, you know, super warm, but these were definitely help. And it was a two-pack, so a solid black pair. And then I like the uh, festive print without being like raw in your face. Happy holidays! Happy holidays! So it's kind of subtle, and I like that. And this two-pack was $10.00. So five a legging like Walmart. Trying to move it. Um, this made me think of my granddaddy. Um, the material. He used to have like long johns. So during the winter it was made out of like this type of, I don't know what, what is this? This is, this is when Kayla should be right here. Kayla break this thing down for you. Hey, this is what this is. Man. Um... It's not saying, or I'm not seeing it right away, but anyhow, when I saw this, and everyone knows, pink is my favorite color in the world, and it's a two-piece, so here's the little shorts. I was like, yeah, man. I mean, I was really about to hurt myself trying to set this stuff aside. Um, everything is written in someone else's language that I can't read or understand. Where is our language? Oh, well, you guys don't care. But anyhow, this is Calvin Klein, and its retail value is normally $59, $59 and this was $17. I thought that was fair. I thought that was fair for, I'm in between a 12 and a 16. I'm now back into a 14, going towards my 12s again. I think for my size, this is a fair price. $17, what, you guys, this is a... Eight bucks and fifty cent each piece. Now this, I, I don't know. I'm finna get back into working out. And so when I saw this, I thought this was positive. I haven't been buying workout clothes really. And this is ten dollars nine ninety nine. And the shirt says positive mind, positive energy, positive life. And um, it's it's a high low bottom. If you can see it. I don't know if it's coming across, but that's what I thought. I thought that would make a great Trader Joe's, a great beach body program. 
I'm tempted to buy this bicycle. I need to Google, you know, how many calories would you burn riding a bicycle? Um, and so I just thought something like that would be nice. And I love the feel of it. And it's foldable. See? See how stuff comes? If y'all knew how some of that, mo that Fendi bag was dumped in a box with just anything. And it was $1,799. And it was mixed with tweezers and everything else. And I was like, see, people just don't know this stuff is man-made uh, or handmade by man and it's just thrown on there but I got these these are some skinnies BBJ uh, Los Angeles and I went with extra large because I don't know this brand very well so better to be safe than sorry and these were $12.99 regular length high-rise skinny fit and it's just some trousers, some little pants. I don't know the care instructions just yet, but I don't want the video to be super duper long. Oh my God, you guys don't know how much I wanted these. I saw them three months ago. And I was like, oh my God, they caught my eye from a distance hanging up on the rack. And I was like, I gotta have those. And I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to get them right now. I'll get it next week. The next week came. Okay, no, I'll get them next week. I was like, okay, that's enough. You need to just walk over there, pick them up, and buy them. So when I finally do week three to go buy these, they were gone. Talk about butt ugly. Hurt. But I couldn't blame nobody but myself, you know? When these came in that, the box today, I was like, yes. I played so much. <laughs> I wanted these. Your girl like to dress with a little attitude off this camera. And so I was like, yeah, baby. That's what my kid's dad used to say um, when he'd be happy. But these were $20. Yeah, a little overpriced, but I wanted these. I will be washing these with care. Wool light. I would let them air dry. I wanted them. And then I bought this. I don't know if it'll go with it yet. I have to put it on. But I got these to go with each other. And this is this. This is in like an off white or pink. I don't know. I don't have my glasses on. But let me put it all the way up there for you to see. And so, yeah. Um, I might. I might wear it together. I might not. And then this sweatshirt was... Ain't this something? Hey, hey, look, y'all. The sweatshirt, $16.99. I think I'm, it might be too big for me, though. And I might need to size down. But I love the lion... What is um Charlie Brown friend name? Linus. Yeah. I love that. You can put your hands right in here and be like that. I think that's about it, everybody. Oh, we down to one more thing. Um, Dr. Bronner's. And this was $3.99. And I never seen pink before. And again, it's not enough time to play. So I didn't even know what the scent was. I was just like, I want it. Because I'm a big Dr. Bronner's um, bar soap and soap fan. The bar soap's just kind of, I only get about three to four baths out of it. I say five on average. But yeah, it's gone after that. Ooh, this smells so sweet. And it was only one on the beauty cot. So, I got it. Oh, it smells fruity. Well, anyways, someone should Google, um, should come on YouTube. I watched the Dr. Bronner story. And how the company still follows the principle. The children and the, the wife, I think, is still alive. Or the grandkids. And they follow Dr. Bronner's um, philosophy. All these itty-bitty words is how the company got started. Um, how he wanted to... He was doing speaking engagements and wanting to speak a message and get a message out to people. And when they would attend these um, public... Um, service type things he was doing they would get a little soap uh, at the end as a thank you for coming out and um, some kind of way it led to 
people just wanted to come to buy it and not really hear the message. And so the, the guy put the message on the bottle. And so if you ever wondered what all this itty bitty writing is, take the time to read it. It's very, it's a very good message. I, it's a humanitarian and a do good unto our fellow man type of message. And people really should want to adopt something similar to this type of principle. But I never seen pink. I've I've tried their uh, almond and citrus, and I, I always get the peppermint. And I always get the lavender. I'm gonna try rose this week. Their rose scented bar soap. I have this a little bit bigger in peppermint and lavender, but never seen a pink one. So, and I like that it actually smells fruity. My grand total for everything was like 220 bucks. And so this is why you haven't been seeing clothing subscription boxes on my channel that much because I just found if I make the time, have some patience and shop for myself, I was com I was coming out much cheaper to do it on my own. I'm not saying you'll never ever see one cuz I'm itching to get a stitch fix and a transcend um, but they'll be rare. They'll be much rarer and you'll see much more I shop for myself. All right, everyone. I'm going to get out of this video. I'm going to wash my hands, get me some ice. And I just got a new mattress set and it's still back there in the room in the plastic and everything. So I need to put the new rails down and set the new bed up. And I pick up my comforter and stuff should be ready for pickup on Tuesday. And so I'm just trying to spruce things up. BTW, by the way, um, I did end up keeping that Himalayan diffuser, but I haven't even opened it out the box yet, guys. Tell you I'm special. Bye, everyone. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Please thumb up and consider subscribing. Peace.